to embed a 3D file, I'm going to come down here, and here I see I've got my iframe. iframe is the exact same embed code that you would use if you were embedding a YouTube video, except this time it's a 3D viewer. So to copy the iframe, I click this copy embed code button, and then I would simply paste it into WordPress or Squarespace or something like that. We also have tutorials there, same with Shopify. Or I can click copy share link. What copy share link will do is it'll actually just take out this center portion right here, HTTPS, and this is something that can just be shared in an email. So the iframe is used for embed, but this embed link is just this link that I've highlighted right here that you'd be able to use in an email to share with a colleague. So if you wanted to send a link to someone, you would just click this arrow button and then you would paste it. We also offer a few other functionalities. So if you didn't want people to be able to view it in full screen, for instance, you'd click that and that would go into the iframe. If you wanted to hide the AR button, you would click that and that would go into the iframe. Or if you only wanted to hide the AR button on desktop, you would click that. Domain source allows you to track on our analytics page where this is being viewed. So in this case, an example would be Ventana.com. And I'd be able to track all the views on Ventana.com specifically versus if someone sent it in an email, for instance. So embedding is really, really, really simple. If I want to see what uh, an embed looks like, I click this share link, I open up a new tab, paste it. Oh, it's not published. So you're always going to want to make sure that you click this publish button and that your asset is set to the live state. Then I can reload this. And now I see my interactive 3D asset. Notice that I don't see a full screen button and I don't see an AR button. That's because these options were checked down here. If I get rid of all of those, click the copy share link again, paste it. And now I can see my full screen button right here and my view and AR button. View and AR will pull up a QR code if you're on desktop or if you're on a mobile device, it will take you directly into augmented reality.